we went on a date. I was on my way to a date, but I forgot to wear cologne. So I stopped at the mall and sampled some expensive fragrances like I was gonna buy them. On my way out of the mall, I received so many compliments. My date loved my cologne. She wouldn't stop rubbing and kissing on me. Before the next time we hung out, I made sure that I was gonna go to the mall and buy that same cologne, but it was sold out. So I wore another fragrance, but she didn't react anywhere close to like how she did the first time. She asked why I didn't wear the fragrance that I wore the first time again. Her energy was low key lackluster and the only thing different about me was my smell. And that's when I realized the importance of smell and the invisible language it communicates. Because I was the same person with the same haircut, the same clothes, similar clothes, but she hadn't gone for one kiss yet. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit self-conscious, but not about my smell. I was self-conscious about other things because I didn't believe, I couldn't fathom that a fragrance could make that much of a difference when it comes to your attraction, and how people react to you, how people treat you. I had taken my sense of smell for granted. Just like those insurance companies that say, sense of smell, it's a one to 10% importance to your life comparative to your sense of sight that is a 85% importance. So I went on a rabbit hole 250 bottles later. Bruh, I've mastered the invisible language. And by the end of this video, I hope you guys can also cherish the importance of your sense of smell. Fellas, I want you to understand this. Smell is sex, especially for women. Women have ranked how a man smells as the most universally important feature for attraction. I've had a woman tell me that she knew that she was gonna marry her husband the first time she smelled them. I've also had another woman tell me she knew she was gonna sleep with a guy the first time she smelled them. Are we overlooking the power of smell? Because there's a basic and primal biological connection between your immune system, your body odor, your sense of smell, and finding a mate. Believe it or not, your body is the external representation of the genes of your immune system and everybody has a unique body odor that's why it's very important to have a signature scent that works well with your skin chemistry and your body odor it can attract the person that you're supposed to be with literally it sounds far-fetched but i promise it's not everyone i mean everyone has a unique body odor as unique as a fingerprint and as you know even twins don't have the same fingerprint when it comes to buying your next fragrance listen to me closely it's not about the brand it's not about how much you spend. It's not about how popular the fragrance is. It's not even about how it smells on somebody else because every fragrance smells differently on one person than it does on another person. Always remember that. Another reason I say it's important in helping you find a mate is because a woman's sense of smell is at its peak the few days of each month when she's fertile and ovulating. So when finding a mate, even mother nature, the fairs, to a woman following her nose, her sense of smell, that invisible. Women are attractive to the body odor of men who have immune systems that are genetically complementary to their own. You take your diet, take what you eat into deep consideration because that holistically affects your body odor. Speaking of food, I took a bite from a cheese pizza. When I took that second bite, that pizza smelled completely different. So I did some research because my mind was blown and I found out that when you taste your food, you're, you're experiencing a collaboration between your taste buds and your sense of smell. Your taste buds are only responsible for four flavors, salty, sour, sweet, and bitter. And the rest of the flavors, your nose handles it. Your nose picks up on all the other complex aromas that foods have. Remember during COVID, when a lot of people lost their sense of smell, they were saying the food tasted differently. That was the reason. That's why I love the power of smell so much that it gives us the power to evoke memories, to communicate emotions, and even influence people's perceptions without uttering a single word. Please don't overlook your sense of smell because people over the age of 57 with a weak sense of smell were more likely to die within a five year period than people with a good sense of smell. And this means that you live longer if you have a good sense of smell. And in order to find your signature scent, you have to experiment until you find your signature scent. And then you could purchase a big bottle, which is a lot more expensive. There are websites that provide you a lot of fragrance samples. Websites like Micro Perfume, um, Decante Fragrances, Scentbox. There's so many sites that have samples. Start with the samples. Don't be in a rush to buy a big bottle. We wanna to get to our goal without having to do a lot. I want you to consider your lifestyle because your lifestyle plays a pivotal role in your scent choice. I want you to also understand scent profiles. Use websites like Fragrantica.com to understand scent profiles that you can learn about fragrances. You could find dupes. You could find fragrances with similar scents. You could multitude of fragrances that are out here. 
layering your fragrances to create a signature scent. The bottom notes of two fragrances that have similar bass notes. Easy to layer the fragrance because the bass notes hold the rest of the other notes and the bottom notes last the longest. So it holds up the rest of the top notes. So the layering happens on the top notes. Ask, ask your questions in the comments. My name is Denver Tafa and I'm out.